Hi, it's Fab Polly here. Welcome back to another episode of BizJet TV. And today we're going to talk about flight attendants. So here you are, you're just contemplating now buying your own private jet. And the question is, do I need a flight attendant on my private jet or do I just need two pilots? Now, some um, private jets just operate with one pilot, some with two pilots. Sometimes because of long flights, they need three pilots. But let's just focus now on the cabin. Now, a lot of people think, well, you know, I don't need a flight. I don't need some, someone serving me food or drinks and that. I just, I'll just do it. And I know, I know a number of owners that do fly transatlantic up and down and they don't have a flight attendant. They just do everything themselves. But I'd like to um, talk in favor of having a flight attendant uh, simply because I've operated both ways um, as, a, as a pilot and, um, and also sitting in the back as, as a passenger on the private jets. Um, and you know, there, is, there, are, there are many advantages in why to have a flight attendant. Yes, I do know that it's going to cost you more money because you're employing another person. But you know, you just spent $25 million on an airplane. What's, you know, what's $70,000 a year for a flight attendant? Now, what does a flight attendant do? And why are there flight attendants on airplanes? Now, when you get on an airliner, you're flying Delta or Lufthansa or British Airways or whatever, um, a lot of people think that the flight attendants are there to serve you drinks, sell you food or sell you duty-free and that. But in reality, the number one reason why flight attendants are on an aircraft is for your safety. So, they are medically trained, uh, first aid trained, okay? Um, some aircraft do have defibrillators and a number of other things and you know first aid kits on board and that and, and I have had you know on, on some of my flights people that suddenly were sick and the flight attendant has saved their lives. So you imagine you're operating I don't know let's say a Falcon 7X or Global Express and you're flying a lot between Europe and the US so you're doing these transatlantic flights which are 7-8 hours or maybe even operating from you know the west coast United States or Canada or over to Tokyo and Shanghai and that so the flights maybe even 11-12 hours um, it's not a good idea to just have two pilots because those two pilots are going to be up front uh, looking after the airplane and what you don't want is that one of these pilots have to get up from his seat and come back and serve you food and drinks and that plus the crew need to eat as well so you need someone to look after them as well as looking after you sitting in the back so the flight attendant you need to hire you need to hire someone that has been professionally trained just don't go and get a fancy good looking girl stick her in a uniform put her on the airplane um, they have to be highly trained and the first type of training you need to receive is safety training because let's say something goes wrong and the airplane crashes, crash lands, and the pilots are incapacitated, and you have to evacuate the airplane. Now, yes, you will get briefed by the pilots on how to open the door, uh, but you know, you'll be briefed, you'll try and open the door and shut it, but I can guarantee you that if an event happens such as a crash, what, once the airplane gets on the ground, you would have completely forgotten how to open that door. So you need a professional to be there to look after you. So that person is there, number one, for your safety. They're here to look after you, um, make sure everybody's fine. Let's say one of you is sick or has a headache or um, suddenly feels they've got some problem with their heart. I mean, the flight attendant can help you with that because they'll, they'll be first aid trained. They'll know how to use the medical kit on board to, 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 to save your life. And they'll be able to liaise also with the uh, the crew and say, look, the, the passion in the back, I've tried this, I've tried that. Um, you know, the, 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 they're not really responding. We do need to land as soon as possible. Now you imagine if something like this happens and you've got your two pilots up front flying and there's just you and a couple of other people on the airplane, none of you are first aid trained. One starts feeling sick um, and the others freak out and don't know what to do. Well, maybe, you know, it's just a simple thing can be done to make them feel better and we can continue the flight. Otherwise, you know, suddenly panic, panic, panic. We have to divert and you get on the ground and then you discover that, you know, you could have just given them a tranquilizer or something and they would have been fine until you arrived at your destination. So that's the, 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 the number one reason why you need to have a flight attendant. Well, in particular, if you're flying long distance, if you're doing short hops between London and Paris and uh, or New York and, and, and Boston and or Dallas and Los Angeles and things like that, you know, two hour flights and that, um, depending obviously on, on the size of the cabin, then, then, then you're not going to need the flight attendant. So that's one aspect. The other aspect is once you have these flight attendants on board, the next thing you want to do is you want to use them in the best possible way. So they will be trained to uh, to prepare food, to order food, to buy food. Okay, so they'll know where to go if they're well trained. They'll know they won't order from the catering company in the airport, which will cost you an arm and a leg, um, and the food's not too good as well. Um, they will go to local restaurants. They'll do the shopping, and they also know how to 
prepare food on the airplane or maybe even cook you a meal on the flight. Okay, if you've got children, they'll also know how to entertain the children and what meals to prepare for the children and stuff like that, how to work the in-flight entertainment system and all this kind of stuff. So they're going to be looking after you, but they're also going to be looking after the guys up front flying the airplane. Okay, they're going to need water, they're going to need food as well, as well as you, and you want to make sure that your pilots, you know, are, are, are well hydrated, uh, that they are well fed as they're flying you along and keeping you safe. Uh, so that's another reason why you need a flight attendant, so the flight attendant can also help and, and serve the crew as well as serving you and your guests. So I am in favor of having a flight attendant, maybe one or two, depending on what type of aircraft you operate, but it's definitely something to consider when you are buying one of these larger jets is uh, should I have a flight attendant or not, what the pros and cons, and as I said, number one reason is safety, your safety, your health, um, and number two would be also to look after and you know uh, serve the food, cook the food, prepare the food, buy the food, and all that kind of stuff as well. So that's all from Fat Polly at BizJet TV, so if you haven't, please share this video, uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already, and if you have any comments, please comment below, and if you have any questions, please ask questions, if you want to contact me directly, my email is below, and that's all from Fat Polly at BizJet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.